new report is out and it's looking towards the future. Yeah, the research is giving us a better idea of the impact of self-driving cars and trucks and when we may see those changes. Okay, K9's okay, Erica Mandy is live in Castaic tonight with those details. Erica? Well, Jeff and Susie, we're at a popular stop for truck drivers. There are dozens of trucks parked all around here. And remember, every one of these trucks represents a job that could be in danger. In the near future, when you look at that truck next to you on the freeway, there may not be anyone behind the wheel. As companies race to put self-driving technology on the road, truck drivers may be the first to feel left behind. That would, that would really hurt. No, oh, it's unsafe. Recent research found self-driving vehicles will drive away jobs and truck drivers will take the first big hit, losing hundreds of thousands of jobs every year. A Goldman Sachs report found at the peak of the changeover, U.S. commercial drivers could see job losses at 25,000 a month or 300,000 a year. When you have an autonomous vehicle, they can go 24 hours a day. Terry D. Kramer at UCLA Anderson School of Management says don't try to press the brakes on this. It will happen. The question is when. People think you can stop technology. Um, my view is that's a false narrative. We need to find jobs for two to three million that could be affected. I mean, it's a big issue. Oh, where's it going? Goldman Sachs research estimates the world of cars and trucks will look a lot different by 2025. That's just eight years away. But Nestor Jimenez isn't too worried. He retires in 10. Do you think it'll affect your job? Not me no more because I'm on my way out. But he knows things are changing. Uh, technology is there, everything's coming. Everything's coming fast. Professor Kramer points out there are positive aspects of self driving technology as well. He says there's the potential for fewer accidents and more productivity during commutes. Jeff and Susie, back to you. All right.